he tried to go on a date with me. I'm like, oh, I've been busy. I've been running errands all day. I'm tired. I just really don't want to do anything. And I was like, and plus, I don't have gas in my car. Literally, I'm on the phone with the man. The man instantly Apple pays me $100 right then and there for the gas. Single moms love to glorify a man stepping up to the plate, and that's what makes them a real man. But whole time, they wouldn't even want that for their own sons. Why are men? afraid to open up to their woman uh because men have been men are afraid to open up to their women because they have been trained that it's not safe to do so It's okay. election night. I got a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> I want to just say that we love everybody. Uh -huh. We love the community. And the guidelines. And we respect uh -huh. the guidelines. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this your own podcast. This your podcast. Oh, gosh. We in the building. We got another banger tonight. Yes, sir. As always. It's election night. Election night. We got five videos to react to. Sure. Make sure you yeah, like, man. comment, and if you already didn't, subscribe. Yeah. As you come in, make sure you hit the like button. Y'all sort of algorithm can pick us up. You know what I mean? Get the thing pumping, pumping. Yes, God sir. Damn. Man, look, look at T over here, y'all. Look at that. You know what I mean? <laughs> what you just got paid? Just, just got, got paid. paid. <laughs> Friday night. Tuesday night. <laughs> Look at that. She said, where are the white men at? Oh, no, no, no. She got the cleavage <laughs> out for y'all that night. She said it's a special <laughs> night. <laughs> Election night. <laughs> she said, I got the Donald Trump titty nibbles ready. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump, yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's good, everybody? Yo, what's yo. good? T, how you been, T? Before we kick this off, T, 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 how the hell you been? Carlo, 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 how you been? Oh, yeah. You know me. Yeah. I do my thug fizzle. You always <laughs> acting the hell up. You know, you always acting up. You don't even know how to behave. <sighs> I'm going to skip her. Yeah. Broski. Uh -huh. I mean,. <laughs> Listen. Trump said, Trump said, hey, CJ, I'm in here. <laughs> Where the party at? <laughs> and can I bring my gas? Oh, gosh. <laughs> if not, I hope I don't get shot. <laughs> yeah, uh, T. Los. Pay attention to your men. Stop with that bullshit over there. Like you be doing every week. I know I got, how to multitask. Every week, I got to tell you that. And every week, I tell you I know how to multitask. <laughs> oh, you know what? I stay ready. <sighs> um... Everybody, let's get this party started now. <laughs> you know what I mean? The video to react to. Let me get this thing here set up. Shall we go to video number one? Let me teach you a couple things so you don't keep getting caught. Uh, huh. I don't need you to teach huh. me how to... Dougie. <laughs> I don't need that now. I don't need that. <laughs> That's a negative. <laughs> I told y'all, I told y'all she got the Trump nibbles <laughs> out here. I, I told you. She, she must have had a little bit of this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am high on life. Uh -huh, that's what they all say. Life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, video number one. Um <laughs> I mean, get started. I know what the people right are now, they probably say, yo, get to the video, 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 but you know what I mean? God damn. <laughs> Woman? Who, who are you talking to like that? You know I mean, so you, you got to talk to them black women like that. No, you don't. God damn. God no, damn. You don't. Damn Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's like, they're going to be mad at that one. What you mean? <laughs> Democrat. So, us black women, we got to just be Democrat. <laughs> we about to get killed in the yeah. comments. Well, we're going to get murdered in these y'all, boy. Yeah, watch your mouth. Watch oh, your man. Mouth. So, first, first video. First video, we got we got a suspended police chief in Atlanta admits to not wanting to hire minority female police officers. <sighs> I am so intrigued. I want to know why. <laughs> yes. <laughs> T. Hmm? Don't you want to know why? I want to hear it. Okay. Then, then I want to hear why she got suspended. I mean, was it that deep? Let's see what, what, let's see what they got to say. 
All right, let's go. Shit, peanut. Peanut. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. A black female police chief has now been suspended for not wanting to hire other black female officers. The now suspended police chief at the Atlanta VA Medical Center once said in a staff meeting that she no longer wanted to hire black or Hispanic female officers because they, quote, come with a whole lot of attitude. I am to the point. I don't want to hire black women no more. I'm to that point. I don't have no Hispanic women. Hell, I don't want them me. Because you know what comes with it? A whole lot of f***ing attitude. And I don't want it. An Atlanta black female police chief has now been suspended indefinitely for being caught on a recording claiming she doesn't want to hire other black female officers. The statements from the Atlanta police chief has garnered controversy online. Commenters claimed that she's not wrong about the attitudes and that she shouldn't be fired for telling the truth. But what do you think about the situation? Do you think that the Atlanta police chief should be fired from her job? Comment your opinion in the comment section down below. <laughs> Man. He said, I'm sick of these efforts. <laughs> Look, they do be having attitudes, but at the end of the day, she sound like she had one too. Did she? She sound like she had one too. <laughs> I, listen, I, I want to know. You know what? I think somebody recorded her. Yeah, I believe that that was during a meeting, and somebody recorded her and put that shit on. Yeah, online. but did they author? Were they authorized to record? No. So why was she, see that's the thing like and, and and we we not gonna go on a whole tangent with this so if they were not authorized to record how are they even authorized to suspend her for her speaking or saying her her opinion on something that should not have been recorded in the first place did she give her consent because it got out into the public you know that public perception okay make her do some kind of sensitivity sensitivity training she said she don't want to hire y'all heifers y'all heifers. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Geraldine said, I'm tired of Sharkeisha and them coming in here with all these damn weeds and attitudes. I, listen, we try to lock people up. Y'all in here, if you don't want to go lock people up, go work at Subway or something. She said, I'm tired of this. Now, she had her own attitude, so she did. then she maybe they, they clash, but she said, I, I, uh, you could get uh, Selena and them too. I don't want them either. She has no picks. Listen, <laughs> Geraldine Yvette uh, Johnson She says she's tired of it She's cleaning it up <laughs> She said I she don't want the Spanish too. I don't want she don't none, nobody. Of them, man. none of them Yeah that's that's discrimination She can't do that I mean <laughs> Well you know what Hold on I mean, T You know it, Is it hard to work with black yeah, women? Yeah is, is it? Is it? Um it's so, hard to work with women in general. For real? Yes. Women all together? With women. All minorities? Women, yes. You do. Come on now, let it out. Even the Caucasian <laughs> ones? L yeah, let, they, let, they, let they, they, they added to this too. Okay. They what? added to this too. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I work with them all. So and I so let let's just let's just make it clear. Okay. Yes, the black women, they carry it on their shoulders. They carry it out in the open all day, every day. Now what? Other cultures, yes, they're a little bit more sensitive to it. Sometimes they have their days and their moments. But at the end of the day, you'll tell one person, okay, all right, Tamika, I need you to, uh, you know, give me that report. What? I'm about to go to lunch. <laughs> okay. Can I'm, you just email it to me right quick? I mean, do you need I it now? Break. <laughs> like, I mean... The 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 happy hour over at Parkside got fifty then, cent wings. That's over in about thirteen minutes. Can I just get back to you? Look, then I got Lisa on the other hand. Oh yeah, sure. Let me get that over to you right quick. Like, so so wait a minute. So now is it more of the Caucasian persuasion? Are they more of the passive aggressive type attitude? Um, or or, I or am I stereotyping? I in a sense because. They're not too far behind the yeah. African Americans. The ones that I would say that never give me a problem are more so like of the Asian Islanders. What? Right? Yeah. They I never had no problems with them. Ain't that something. Yeah. Y'all yeah. hear that? Yeah, she she never Asian give a problem from the Asian Islanders. Yeah. Get you an Asian woman. That's, <laughs> that's what she's basically saying. That's what, that's what she's saying, goddamn. That is not what I'm saying. No, 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 no. That's what we're telling you. <laughs> okay. That's what you said tonight. <laughs> uh, let's go to the comment. <laughs> so, first comment is from King Henry. King Henry says, it's so damn true. 
they always come with that attitude that you can't tell them nothing. You can't tell them they're not doing their job correctly or when uh, to, to go on a break. <laughs> Damn, King. King I, listen, I think I think he's in management. <laughs> he's well, not like he's in management. Well, not to mention, that's another thing with the breaks. The African Americans, well, hey, they go on them breaks. Listen. They I, I, going, I, I, they I said, well, we break. Bernie we break. break. <laughs> they be going for like hour, 45 minutes. Shout out minutes. to Uncle Bernie. <laughs> May he Put rest up. in peace. <laughs> But like when they leave, they go to the mall, they hey, come back, hey. they come back with bags. What I do on my break, <laughs> I don't get paid for this. So I'm going to do what I need to do for myself. Hey, hold oh on. Oh my gosh. Hold on, what, what bird is they when we break? We break. We break. Anybody seen Johnny? <laughs> like, 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 listen, if you want to go outside and, and smoke on your break, cool. If I want to go pay my electric bill, that's my business. Okay. <laughs> Look, they can't sit, tell me what to do. See, they sit at their desk and eat their lunch. Right. Oh <laughs> so no. So that I can go outside. You know we. And, shit. Let me tell you something. It's been many nights I've went in my car and slept. Listen <laughs> on my brain. <laughs> and um, just to let all you employers and you managers, directors, or whatever you know, my break don't start until I get my food. Dang. Okay. <laughs> So I don't care when I ordered it. When I get my food in my hand, that's when break starts. It ain't my fault. <laughs> hey, I can't be working and order it at the same time, so I had to wait. I ordered it. When it get in my hand, break is now. <laughs> yes, it is now. Oh, wait a minute. So are you saying your break don't end until you finish your food? No. So I got 30 minutes from when I get that food, <laughs> but not when I left that desk. No, no, that's not how that works. So I'm letting y'all know to update your HR policies <laughs> to let you know when the food get in my hand and I pay for it, hit the clock. That's, that's when, when the break starts. Now I'm ready to no, go. So yeah. uh, I want to tell you that's falsification. <laughs> Says who? <laughs> Yeah, we break. Says uh, my HR handbook. Hey, hey. <laughs> Update your policy. <laughs> oh, man, let's go to comment number two, man. So comment number two is from Show Show 247. He says not, I'm sorry, I believe that's a, that's a female. She says not all like that, but there are some truth because we experience it every day in the workplace yes, yes. and makes you cautious as to who you hire. Some have, what's it, some have children, childish a mindset. childish mindset. Can't and you them. can't tell them nothing. Yeah, but you don't know that when somebody's interviewing because at the end of the day, I do interviews all the time and people always putting their best foot forward. Of course. But when, of course. They, get, yeah. when they get their foot in the door, then that's when everything comes out. So you never know what you get. It, it, completely different. Totally different. In my experience, because I, I work in corporate America, so I haven't really ran into that. Mine is always in customer service. Why do y'all take these customer service jobs if you don't like people? Oh, right. my God. Oh, that my is, God. Bro, just right out of number, dog. Bro, you got to wait. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, what? I just came in here to get some brake pads. <laughs> Why is you mad in AutoZone? <laughs> Why would you come work here? That's all I need is to get my brake pads and I'm out. Oh, what, what size? What, what, what kind of car you got? You know what? I got to give a shout out to Chick-fil-A because I got to say, no matter what Chick-fil-A I have ever been in, oh, they Chick-fil-A have got some hell of a customer service. That's what they, the they, best customer service. Yeah, that's a part of their brand. Yeah, Chick-fil-A yes. got some hell of a customer service. That's just shit. You know, and that chicken good. All right, hey, where my chicken, bitch? Oh, <laughs> see, Damn. come on now. <laughs> CJ just said he apologized and he said about the oh, job. I'm I think sorry. We, I think that word is, I looked it up. I think we... That one we, we, can, we, get we can get away with that. Yeah, we can get that oh, one off. Uh, Don't tell him. Yes, you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, let's hit comment number three. Let's hit the last comment for this video. Um, this comment is from Dreams Reality. As a black woman that worked around nothing but black females, I totally understand the attitudes, bullying, harassment, plotting, mm-hmm. etc. Don't the blame gossiping. her at all. <laughs> yeah, the gossiping. Oh my gosh. When you have one disgruntled black female, oh, they try to spread it. She, oh yes, Get out they of here. make it known, and then it just spreads like a, a disease. Oh man, oh, horrible! Makes it, the whole morale in the office or whatever environment that you're in just bad. Get out of here! You know what? Let me tell you something. I'm, 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 let me pour a drink for all my all my black women, man. Lord. No, not all y'all like that, goddamn. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah. don't want to yeah. put no, it No, we, we definitely not saying everybody's like that, y'all. Again, I used to work in HR, 
which is very female and very very caucasian and i seen some stuff go down with them they they they're, they not as i say aggressive verbally but they do some backbiting stuff yes, yeah they do you can't trust them yeah they will what? get somebody to write your year-end review a little wrong do a little you know a little uh, brown nosing get your get your <laughs> get your uh year-end review messed up mess up your bonus i seen that kind of stuff so yeah, I, some, some some slimy stuff yeah, yeah definitely. i see a whole lot of stuff i see yeah. i see a lot of stuff where okay yeah you know who you want to hire <laughs> Yeah, this is who we want. So, yeah, but we still got to interview. Yeah, you still got to interview everybody. And it'd be sad because I'm like, dang. You know, now I hear this person in, up here interviewing, thinking that they got the they opportunity. Got the job. And no, they really wanted, yeah, they, they wanted yeah. Sarah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> They wanted Sarah you, two you, months before you even right. got. <laughs> you slimy <laughs> heifers. Like, he, t- tell me what I got to do to get to get to Keisha on the list. Well, you gotta add, you gotta interview all these people. Okay, well, we gotta do that. Okay, so let's just do five minute interviews. <laughs> Ain't that a you know what? So n- now y'all know y'all hear y'all hear it here. Y'all hear it here from a from a HR professional. And if you ever if you ever uh, get an interview with her, just get, now I heard what you said on the episode one twenty four. Don't try to five minute interview me now. <laughs> I'm here for the whole hour. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, so are we hitting the next one, man? Go Let's ahead. Go. Yo, can we get some? Can we, can we get back to the Deuce, Spanish Deuce. shit? You know what I'm saying? Deuces. That is not Spanish. I'm, I know. Because oh, I said <laughs> just like a goddamn, no. just like a goddamn no. woman, <laughs> just, just like a goddamn black woman. Follow no direction. <laughs> 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 they gonna be in the comments y'all just hate y'all just love yeah. hate on us black you women you know what they do it to me every week y'all come on y'all see what they y'all be doing to hate. me y'all black y'all just love to hate yeah. on the black women they oh always hating on me y'all all probably got time. white girlfriends y'all yeah, know yeah 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 we do Simps. we probably do <laughs> <laughs> boy we get fried in the comments y'all we get motherfucking <laughs> For a lowly small channel like us, we get fried in fried. comments from across the country. <laughs> <laughs> we get stir fried in them comments, boy. God damn! But you know what? Though we love it, appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, if you don't hate, we don't appreciate. All right, man. Let's go to video number two, man. So what we have now, video number two is from content creator. That's persuasion. Now she says, getting money from men is not hard. You just need to get to the point. Okay. Here we go. Let me tell you, hmm? getting money from no white man hard. I don't get no money from no man. God damn it, you need to stop giving it out for free. It's <laughs> 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 Jim Podcast. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I asked men for money real quick after meeting them. One thing about it, you're not finna play in my face. I got too much stuff to do than to let a man play it in my face. So I went on a date with this man on Saturday and it's now Wednesday. He tried to go on a date with me. I'm like, oh, I've been busy. I've been running errands all day. I'm tired. I just really don't want to do anything. And I was like, and plus, I don't have gas in my car. Literally, I'm on the phone with the man. The man instantly Apple pays me $100 right then and there for the gas. He was like, oh, no, no, no. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. I got you. Like, listen, y'all be scared to ask these men for money. But, baby, I'm a step every single time. You don't even have to ask a real man for money. All you have to do is throw a problem out there. And if he's a real man... And if he got money, if he's a problem solver, if he's a provider, baby, he's going to help you. He's going to solve your problem. It should never be a back and forth thing. Like, it's crazy because y'all be dating these brokies and you got to beg him for two years straight just to get a hundred dollars out of him. And a guy that I went on one date with literally sent me a hundred dollars for gas that quick because I said, I don't have gas in my car and I'm tired because I've been running errands all day. So that's what I'm saying. You ladies need to stop dating broke men and y'all need to start asking these rich men for money or just ask men for money in general even if you don't want to deal with a rich man ask a man a affluent man a provider man for money because y'all just dating for free and baby it's people like me just getting money thrown at me left and right like it's it's not that hard just ask or don't even ask just throw a problem out and the man should instantly offer you a solution if he doesn't hang up and call somebody else or just go outside and go to a bar and get a drink comment down below and let me know if you yourself ask men for money and how fast you ask for men for money like some people think a first or a second day is quick but baby i'm not playing no games if you're not gonna do it somebody else will hold on wait a minute wait wait a minute before i kick this off 
I just, did she say she's tired of she said don't play in her face or don't put it in her face <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, I, mean, I can put it in your face <laughs> put it in your face <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> Listen, if you want to, if you want prostitution to be legal, just say just so. Just say it. Yeah. Just, just say, say it. it. If you want it to be legal, just, you know, get you some senators, some congressmen, councilmen, whoever, an alderman, and try to get it on the ballot, okay? It's, it's, it's election night. <laughs> we, you know, you vote for Trump. Harris prostitution. Let's see if you yeah, put it on there. Yeah, if for, listen, because at the end of the day, this is what it is. Or it's, it's it's called BDB. That's all it is, we bro. call it BDB. Do y'all know what BDB is? No, nah, no. Nah, what is that, bro? It's called backdoor begging. That's there you what go. that's called. You just taking a roundabout way of begging. Oh, I ain't got no gas in my car. That means my broke ass ain't got no money for no goddamn gas. <laughs> First that's of all, what that says. That's to not us. his responsibility. That's your car. You oh supposed to God. put the gas in it, pay the car note, insurance, or whatever. Why yeah. is that that man's responsibility? And why is it that if a man doesn't do that, he's broke? That's the part I don't get. He got what, his own responsibility. What makes you his think own that I want to spend my money on you? That's just, it's just it's it's very prostitution like. I'm just like she. She said, "Get a provider, man." What does that mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, what What does that mean? Because I thought that being a provider or being a good man is taking care of your family or taking care of your woman, not providing or taking care of all of these heifers that you're out here dating. Because now, granted, us men. I mean, if we know that we're going to get those skins, yeah, we'll, we'll break off a couple of hours. I'll give you 250 Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll break off a couple of hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I know I'm going to get those skins and shit, you know? So this is the problem, once again, because I know we said this before. Since when do, when you're uh, when you're dating, you have to provide for these women? Yeah, you're not supposed to. Exactly. So I don't, I don't get it. Like, it's I'm just, with CJ on this one. Like, this, yeah. is, this is definitely prostitution. Yeah, and... And and then and the only, and then these are going to be the same women when they get about in their forties. We're all the good men. Mm -hmm. We're all the good men. You ran through them, you right. have. Right. That's it's, where the good man is at. <laughs> you know it's, I mean? it's so weird to me that like off the rip when I when you meet like she said if, you, if they to give up the money fast it's like the only people that give up money fast are Johns for prostitutes. Mm -hmm. So it's like. If you give if if you expect this man to give up money fast, what do you think he expects expect, from you? Right. Is he not supposed to expect anything? Because right. during the dating phase, if I meet a woman and we're dating mm -hmm. and I'm courting her and I'm providing her with you know dinner or this or that, I'm expect I'm not saying I'm expecting sex, but I'm expecting s something in return. I expect you to contact me. I shouldn't be calling you all the time if I took you out on dinner. Like I expect a quick hand job under the table. But oh, okay, <laughs> I retort. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like at the end of the day, you think these guys are just supposed to give you all this? Why? Because you're cute? Yeah. Why? I did just, it just to me. And we're talking about logic, and we know that there's a thing with women and logic. But um, what? Like, <laughs> it just does not logically make sense. Like why you would think that some random guy is going to just give you money just when he met you, just because you are you. When, again, the odds are in CJ, our can favor. can I have some money? Who? I got a problem. Can What's I have some money? My, my money's all tied up in investments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Lowe's, can I have some money? Oh, man, listen, I ain't... Um, I, got, I got my roof is leaking. I ain't get paid yet. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what I mean? I got you on um, uh, two weeks from now. So can I spend a night at your house then? Can I spend a night at your house, CJ? So um, uh, the uh, the the thing about my my house is a gated community and the ratio of people <laughs> in the square footage that's in my house it, it would be over the ratio and and, and, and see and my HOA they gonna give me a fine and, and see my, my mama she don't like nobody spend night at my house oh, my mama don't like nobody spend night at my house yeah. like she said if I had a problem I'm supposed to throw a problem out there I just told y'all I had a problem I, and y'all ain't y'all ain't giving me no solution I would try to help but the, again the HOA fees that that them penalties is steep <laughs> so they say you know i got three kids so we know we take up a lot of the square footage we add another one it, i mean it literally puts us over the square footage by like 42 square feet <laughs> i'm sorry and listen listen let me tell you something you thought you threw out a problem with me you know what you're gonna get 
Oh. Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Damn, what you going to do? <laughs> um, you want to call me back? I didn't handle your problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm getting straight to the point. Uh, damn, you, you can call me back. Yeah, man, I, I, I'm home. <laughs> Matter of fact, I, I, I actually got to step out. Um, so uh, I don't know what time I'm gonna be back, uh, but I'm gonna call you though. I'm gonna call you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll check on you. You know, tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> listen. Yeah, I mean, you hit me. You hit Los with a problem. You got another problem. Listen, uh, <laughs> we both got a problem. <laughs> All right, man. Let's, oh, let's, let's, let's go to the comments, man. So first comment is from Goddess. Goddess says, I get gifts and money before, after, and during the date. God damn. Goddess, and you also give money. a gift at the end of the night, too. <laughs> yeah. We know. We know how it goes. Them, them girls that begin float out to Dubai. They also begin peed on. So, yeah, oh, oh my gosh. We know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you hear that? Mm. T. Yeah. Anything wrong with getting gifts before, during, and after the date? I don't know. I don't, I don't, um, I haven't really been dating. So, what? Yeah. All them Donald Trumps that be after you? <laughs> Uh, Mitt Romney. <laughs> <laughs> you said I'm, I'm going to get my life together. Uh, uh, no, you know, no, because you're too busy working on the podcast. Right. Like you don't, need, you don't need your life together. <laughs> we don't need no life. Right. You know what I mean? You, you, listen, you stress going to the bathroom, whack one out real quick, whack and come on back. Out. As a matter of fact, crazy. I'm waiting for my new one to come because I wore the other one out. Okay, comment <laughs> number two. <laughs> comment number two. <laughs> Do we need another YouTube apology? <laughs> this John after dark. John, uh, <laughs> Patreon coming soon. All right, man. So look, comment number two. So let's go to comment number two is from Notes from Your Girl. Um, notes from your girl says I got $500 from a guy I just met so I agree can I take this one please <clears throat> let me sit up a little straight this one is for the men stop doing this <laughs> stop because the majority of us we're not doing this just for no random girl we don't care how cute you are nah. the majority of us we've had a baddie or two or three or ten in our lives so one bad woman who's ultimately gorgeous we it's, it's not that big of a deal but I need you guys that have never been in this boat before. Y'all got to stop with this because the one thing that happens with humans is once one, once somebody mm -hmm. does something one time, they yeah. never believe that it should be it. done. They All don't believe the time. humans really don't believe in anomalies and stuff happens, especially during dating that men, we have to stop doing this. If it's someone that you feel like you're going to be long term with, Hey, I feel like if go off your 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 gut feeling, do you do your thing? Yeah, but stop doing this with these randoms, because at the end of the day, this has become an epidemic. Yeah, these women are out of control. They think that this is the norm. It's not because you gave her five hundred dollars. But now your broke ass is sitting in the house and you can't even put peanut butter and jelly on the bread because you only got one slice left. So you put peanut on half and then gel on the other half because you can't get a whole peanut butter and jelly. And dare you try to get new no, it seems like with a, your a broke bit ass. Of a, it seems like, and I don't know why, and, and, and this is the funny part, because it seems like desperation a little bit on the men's behalf. It is. Yeah, it and is. I don't know it why. It's, because the, the crazy part about it is, is because the ratio of women to men is already high anyway so y'all already have the but option I, to choose i'll tell you so therefore this is why i think men need to under, understand their worth because stop at doing, the end of yeah, the day yeah stop putting make the women start working i could tell you why make they the do it. women work i could tell you exactly why men do it a lot of men do it you know why because they can't hold a goddamn conversation they mm -hmm. have nothing exciting about their lives so they have to use the money to reel them in because if you take the money away from it they are a hollow no piece. substance yes they a bag of cotton balls nothing <laughs> behind it and that's what it is i don't have nothing else of substance so i gotta keep yeah. feeding you this money for you to keep for you to uh for, for me to keep your attention that's all it is because real guys don't have to do that whether you got money or not if you're a, a, a guy who can converse you can have conversation mm -hmm. you you know you got mm -hmm. something going on with your life you got some ambitions goals even ideas even if you didn't get them off the ground but you working on them that's a part of who you are. Yeah, and so that, it'll that show. Means, so Most yeah, guys can't do that. I got to wear the, the Balenciagas and the Amiris and borrow my homie Challenger so I can just suppress this woman. <laughs> right. And now I got to keep the facade. I know. keep I, it up. When I was younger, I knew I know a guy who used to rent uh, a Dodge Charger. 
he would rent the same exact charger on, from the bullshitting. from the rental place because the, the license plate. So that anytime he pulled up somewhere, you see the license plate, you would think like, oh, all right, this is because it's the same license. So Are he would call, he would call yeah. the rental place. I need the charger with ZPX twenty four fifteen. Is that available? Please make sure it's available so that he can make it look like it was his car. I know that's this. Crazy. I seen this with my own two eyes. So that's what I'm saying. This is just the lengths that guys go through when they have no substance. Stop doing this, fellas. Please. Ain't it? That's ridiculous. Ain't it? It's ridiculous. You know what, man? Because I'm, at the end of the day, now you're presenting yourself to be a person that you really are not. Yeah. It's weird. It's and, then, weird. And, and then this is why women get upset because, and why we talk about representatives, is because you presented yourself to be one person and, and then later down the line, I found out that you're somebody else. And you can't be consistent. Oh, I, now you can't be consistent. It's like, well, dang, you used to do this. You did. Yeah, his broke ass was lying. Right. Now now you now you actually meeting him. Right. Okay. So that no boo that he took you to the first two months, it's a no Nutella. Negative. <laughs> now that's what it is. So you gonna go to no boo, no Nutella in the refrigerator. So like, y'all gotta chill, fellas, please. Yeah, 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 chill. Hold on, wait a minute, y'all. Hey, T, you want that? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> she, she's scared. <laughs> she acting scared. No alcoholic beverages for me. I bet you when she get that phone call from... Uh, Douglas Trump tonight. Oh Lord. She's gonna, she gonna crack this motherfucker over, man. Those can let me get sip of that right there. I got a date tonight. Yeah, I got I got a date tonight. I gotta perform. Oh shit. Look, I don't need no sip of nothing to perform. All right, All right. comment Lord. number three. <laughs> um, keep this bad boy rolling. Or it gets um, out of hand. Comment number three Look, from TX Dow. Say got a song. Tonight I'm gonna dance. Okay, hey, TX hey, Dolly. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. yeah, yeah. Uh, TX Dolly. To- is it Toya? <laughs> I don't know what that is. You know, I, I, please change your name. <laughs> um, she says, they don't make them the way they used to. Where are the money men? At home. What? <laughs> Saving our money yeah. up. TX, we want to tell you where the money men at? Ask Biden. <laughs> He got us broke. Mm. I'll tell you where the goddamn at. Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> you, all right, everybody. We know who the hell he voted for. <laughs> you know where we at? We at the strip club where we know our money's going to last. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. We yeah, know exactly we know. what we getting. <laughs> them wings is fire, and so is them asses that's on, on that pole. Then we know exactly what we getting. We getting our money worth. Yep. <laughs> Where's AT? I said, goodness gracious. Oh, man. This ain't not. T. Lowe's. You ever been to a strip club? Strip club? Yes, I have. Oh, for real? You went to a male or female strip club? Male. Got it. <laughs> the Mandingo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ever go to I, I, I've, I've, I've had a party for a, a girlfriend of mine when I uh, was throwing her bachelorette party. Work. I did that for her once, and then another time was just a couple girls of us, you know, just hung out. Oh, get out of here. Not quite my twist. Though. Stop playing. Nah. And I think they could tell I was. I, I wasn't like into it because they just kept coming over to me. And I'm like, what the <laughs> hell? She was like, look, they going to keep coming over to you because you're sitting there looking like you scared. I'm like, I'm not scared. I'm like, why? He so got you, wasn't, that? you wasn't grabbing none of the elephant uh, trunks? Nah. <laughs> First what? of all, it, it almost looked like an elephant Oh, trunk okay. <laughs> uh, video <laughs> number, whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is. Why uh, is he uh, that was it. That was it. Not TMZ. TMI. TMI. That was it. I was trying to let you get the story. Y'all know how my mind is. I was trying to me by now. Y'all know how my mouth is. I was trying to let you get your story off. I'm like, is she once you get too close to the detail, I gotta stop this. I don't want no parts of it. <laughs> Editor, we cut right there. No, no, because I ain't even say nothing. I don't CJ. give a damn. <laughs> I don't want to talk about no trunk, tree trunks, elephant trunks, no trunks. No, no, no swimming trunks, no trunks. CJ, CJ blocking a night. Because yeah, every nah, time nah, I nah. say something, he like, oh. Nah, nah, nah. What are you like, oh, next video. Yeah. I'm cool. Uh-uh. That one was way too far. The other ones I'm okay with. That was not in my wheelhouse. No, I don't even want to visualize what you, what you was about to say. No, thank but you. But y'all talk about this crap all the time. 
about women. Listen, the one thing about See, me. See, this is why I don't like this this listen, ratio. The one over thing here. about me y'all is y'all got me this this one woman. Listen, and two of y'all y'all talk about <laughs> listen, women. The one y'all thing. talk about women all the time, and then the minute I say something, oh no, listen, uh-uh. listen. <laughs> You at, at any I'm, the one thing about me is I am very unbiased. Lose, you okay? So the minute that I start going, <laughs> you could cut it off. Lose, but I had to stop you there. I don't do with these two, yo. I don't know what you was about to say, but I want no parts of that. Because I don't know how you think I, I don't I don't know about Lose, so I'm gonna let him speak for himself. But I don't know how you think I was gonna reply to that. Yeah, cause I just to treat you. <laughs> I would have went to the bathroom with that part. <laughs> y'all, y'all can finish this part without me. I'm cool. <laughs> hey, man. This your own podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Time interrupting hey, me I'm, tonight. I apologize, but that one, uh, I'm over here sweating. Look, I, like, I don't see know. Somebody, you ain't going to keep interrupting me tonight, uh, goddamn. Uh, hey. Mm-mm. Oh, man. So where we at, man? Where we at? We at video, video number, number three. Video number three. T. Let's hit the Spanish. T. Let's hit that Spanish. Tres. Uh, no, but uh, cl- close. Come on. Put some off in that shit. Pra. Pra. Hey, roll that tongue. <laughs> Whoa. Nah, you have a G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so video number two. I can't, yeah, you know, mess around with y'all. Whoa, my son over here. Three. Oh, man, video number three, man. So we got. Three. I got a question. <laughs> <laughs> Is hygiene cultural? I don't even know what this video is about to be. <laughs> See, see what you just started. Now we. This is. I know this is about to be some foolishness. <laughs> All right, look, listen. I ain't starting nothing. Video number three, man. Is okay. hygiene cultural? Or do some people have poor hygiene? Period. Point blank. Straight to the point. Oh, God. I need to know. This is about to be some damn foolishness. This is about to be some shit. <laughs> yeah. It's this Joe podcast. Oh, let's go. Hygiene is definitely cultural. If you'd like some proof to support my hypothesis, here you go. I don't say we avoid bathing, but we bathe very rarely. Oh my God, I'm so happy that you're talking about this. Yeah. She didn't have a bath for like five months. Of her life. Yeah, like we didn't bathe her for the first whole part of her childhood. And like. <laughs> I don't wash my hands. Oh, I was going to say that too. I don't care. I'm, I'm done. I'm done hiding it. Oh. Why do girls have to wash it? We don't touch nothing. We don't even touch nothing. I get I get when you take a shit. Wash. Like if I'm in a public restroom and there's people in the stalls, I will even, after I pee, go to the sink, wa- pro- wash the water, like pretend. Run the water. Run the water, pretend I'm washing my hands. I remember being told that I didn't need to shower today because we had swam at the lake. I remember being told that shampoo is fine because it... It runs it down. It washes everything. Wow. I don't wipe my ass, so I do get yeast infections more often than most people. I stopped wiping my ass back in 2020 when COVID happened. <laughs> yeah, we wash were talking about the other day. Washcloth. We no washcloth. Washcloth. Oh no. no okay. yeah. well, I think it's oh, no. a. I think it's a. Uh, no. <laughs> it's, it's just different. All hands. Uh, Do you wash your legs in the shower? No. No. I do it if I have like plans. Legs? Bro, I wash my whole body. Yes, yes, and yes. What kind of question is that? You have to, you have to. So why your legs specific? Because I find in the white English culture, people say oh, there's no need. They don't wash their legs? No, no. The only thing as a man that you pay special attention to is this area and the little armpits and, and armpit. that's... Give me a minute. <laughs> I'm not black. Glasses. I'm not gonna fucking wash my legs and feet. You think that's just a black people thing? Clearly. God have mercy upon us. I want to talk about two things. The first being white people hygiene, where I think growing up in a white household and like not really being parented per se in the realm of like taking care of yourself, taking care of your hair, taking care of your skin, like washing your body, like brushing your teeth. Like it was never really like taught. It was kind of just like, oh, like you just observe what everybody else is doing. You just like play along rather. (laughs) Oh, poor baby. This is a very cultural debate here. Guys in locker rooms in the NFL used to have this debate all the time. You know, you, you, some guys use bar soap. Some guys use body wash. Some guys have to have a rag. You know, like one of those little square rags. White? <laughs> uh, yeah, all use... Um, whites. You're not clean because uh, the whites don't use uh, a little rag. How are you cleaning your ass, bro? With the bar of soap. 
Do you use a washcloth? That I think so. Disgusting. The, I, am I scrubbing my body with a washcloth? Yeah. Absolutely not. I know. I think we're. I that think is we're like in, a I, UTI waiting I to happen. I think we're in the minority. I really do. No, I think we. People use washcloths. I think so. Goodness it, gracious. It, you know. Uh, you know what? Let me uh, start this off real quick. Let me start off real quick. Do. When I used to play ball, and <laughs> some of the shit that I witnessed in the locker room, I mean, it was cats who, like, went from the football field straight to the goddamn restaurant without washing their ass. A whole bunch of you know what I'm saying? Cologne on, I bet. Yeah, I don't know because I ain't get close to the motherfuckers. I have washed guys. I have I have witnessed cats in the goddamn shower in the shower stick a whole bar of soap up their ass. <laughs> And I'd be like, <laughs> my God. Wait a minute. I Literally would never. inside the rectum. Listen. Oh, whoa. Oh. They will take, they no. will take the goddamn too. bar of soap <laughs> and put it in between oh. the crack of the ass and what? And then wash they, they, they chest with it? <laughs> yes. Wash their face with it. Why? Yeah, Listen, I got teammates that watch this. Y'all know who the hell I'm talking about. Oh, God. And I'd be like, man, you see some disgusting shit. Because you play with people from all over the world, all over the, the U.S. You don't know, man. Do some disgusting shit. Oh, my God, man. This is my God. And, and, you, you and, 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 wait, and you better not go in them showers without no goddamn uh, um, shower, shower shoes. shoes on, boy. Mm. You mess around, your feet going to be itching. Athlete's foot. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm not tell you. That one lady said, I don't wash my ass so I get more yeast infection <laughs> than the average. But like, that one was, uh, that one took me over the yes, top. You know, like, she smelled horrible. No, yeah. she's the most itchiest. Ew. You listen, fellas. You meet her. Don't go nowhere. Don't put your mouth nowhere like, near that just box. Watching it got me. No, itching. wait a minute. Did she say she don't wash her ass? She, or she said don't I don't wipe, her wipe ass. my ass. So That's I just what I'm more, like so you just crispity crunchity back there. <laughs> all them uh, dinkleberries. Like, come on, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You hitting it from the back. You like, oh my god. Ew. You I, forget hitting it from the back. You take them panties off and you. Oh my god. <laughs> You think you were Hershey PA? <laughs> when did we get to the chocolate factory? <laughs> oh my God! Like yo, listen. I, I know a lot of I know a lot of good white people. Y'all got to step up and let me know because this is this, this is this is y'all across the bear because they just out here just rant. They just go ham with it. Washcloth, washcloth. What? So what are you doing? Again, there's some days where. You didn't eat the um, the Indian street vendor food. Your yeah, you stomach know, is a little mm, wishy washy, bubbly, and you coming out. I mean, you firing that M sixteen in that toilet. <laughs> how you how you cleaning that? First of all, this is why I say I don't like eating food from people's houses. You this is never what, know yeah. how a person's hygiene is. How you gonna say? The chick had the nerve to say, oh, yeah, I don't wash my hands. I just run the water. What's the point? So if you run in the water, you might as well just wash your hands. you right there. <laughs> this is exactly why I don't eat the potluck at work. Uh. <laughs> CJ, you want some um, spaghetti salad? Oh, no, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hungry. Not, you, you, I, man, you know what? That's dirty. That's, yeah, it's That's just, there's no other word you can use. I don't give a damn. Culture is dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Like, I don't want... How do you... So, again, when you think about... The lady said this. You know what? She was taught to just play along. Like, look, just play along. Like, when somebody brushes... How you not brush your teeth every day? Let's let's think about it like this. Say this desk right here, or Mm. this chair gets dirt on it, right? Imagine you just taking some spray and just spraying it on here. It's all right. (laughs) Well, it's clean. How do you get it off? You have to wipe, wipe it off, and your hand doesn't have... The, the texture to actually scrub to get some dirt off that you can't see. So y'all are literally just walking around dirty. I, I, I just, I don't, I don't understand it. Spreading the dirt from one spot of the body to the other. The lady other. said, I was told we didn't have to shower because we swam in the lake today. Oh my God. Is the lake not dirty? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, oh my God. because she was told that the shampoo was pretty much soap. So that's all it she just, had to yeah, do. Was it, just it was just wash it. It was just, just <laughs> rinsing down her body. By the time that shampoo got to, to the crack of her ass, it wasn't that much there. <laughs> so you was dirty <laughs> by that point. Oh man, look, let's, let's go to, let's go to comment number one. So comment number one is from Aramello 
And Romello says, at my old job, I witnessed too many grown women walk out of the bathroom mm-hmm. without washing their hands. Yep. It still gives me anxiety yep. when I think uh, about it. Now, yep. listen, I've that heard I've heard in my in my experience working in corporate America, I've heard women say out of their mouths that the woman's bathroom is worse than the men's. I've bathroom. heard that. I've heard that a lot. First of all, how the hell do you know that what true? the men's bathroom look like? Hey, I don't know their personal business, but <laughs> hey, man, listen, let me tell you something. I've been in, I've worked in maintenance and them bathrooms really do be horrible. I mean, again, women got that one situation that we don't have and I could just imagine, ugh, ugh. Mm, I tell you. Yuck. And you want me to eat what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like my That's fish raw. Negative. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Ain't big. no sushi over here for me. <laughs> <laughs> like my <Yeah>. deep fried. <laughs> that means it was bait. <laughs> oh man, that, let's go to comment number two. Comment number two is from Aaliyah Baby ninety three. Aaliyah Baby says, "So true. Growing up, <laughs> I wasn't taught how to properly clean myself. Mm. Then when I got put in foster care and my foster parent were black, they got me all together. Wasn't not playing that. And period." Not playing that. Oh, yeah. You brushing your teeth in the morning and before you go to bed. And if you're going outside, oh, yeah. You got to take a bath when you come inside. You know, the, the thing that killed me was smell a guy. Smell like outside. The guy in the video, he said all he do is this. Yeah, he said this part <laughs> and, and this, this part. part. And I'm like, yeah, yo, bro, you don't you, you don't hit your ass? I heard <laughs> You somebody, didn't do your ass? No, somebody told me that before. They was like, oh, yeah, I just cleaned the important parts. I'm like, what do you mean by the important part? The, your entire body is important. It's important. You ever seen a kid that's outside, they've been playing, and they've been playing so hard, they so sweaty, that they got the, the dirt, like, around here, down there. Oh, neck. my God. Yeah. So, oh. it's like, as a human, you know that that's a, that's a possibility. So, you talking about the important parts. Your neck is important. Yeah. You know, you, you, know, you never know. So that sweetheart that you met, met at the bar, she might want to get up under your neck and do a little, mm. you know, and now you smelling like mustard greens. Mm. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, you know, wash your ass. Wash your ass. All right, so, <laughs> no, the entire body, okay? But How about definitely that? ass, too. <laughs> that should be a, a specialty. <laughs> All right, look, comment. Let's do one more comment. Comment number three is from Zell Bell 2. <laughs> Why do people have so much host- hostility towards washcloths? I, I don't know. Thank you. But te- you're supposed to have two washcloths. One for the face, mm-hmm. one for the body. I'm not even going to lie. If I go over a woman's house and I go into her bathroom... And I see one washcloth. <laughs> you out? You are definitely <laughs> cut. Because <laughs> I know you ain't right. Like she gonna come again? You either baby. ain't washing she your face, like, or you ain't, or you ain't washing your ass. <laughs> come here, baby, give me a kiss. No, nope, then her face you. smells <laughs> like ass. I'm okay. <laughs> What you what? Eating ass over here? Oh no! <laughs> well, you like I need to see two washcloths over here. Mm-hmm. Or I'm the fuck out. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Nasty people, wash your butt. Wash your ass, <laughs> please. Oh, that's one thing I'm big on is hygiene. Oh my gosh, I've always been like that. And, and you got to teach your children, man. Oh yeah, my kids. You got to teach your play. children. They know I don't play that crap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wash your face, wash your butt, grab that, get that other washcloth. You know, what I mean, stop playing. And and and, and again, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a piggyback on. <laughs> Uh, my uncle Kevin Samuels, rest, rest in peace. Fellas, don't be shy about your ass. It's yours. So it ain't gay, as y'all would say. It's, it's your, your ass. ass. <laughs> right. Take your fingers. I ain't telling you to be on no kinky stuff. Take your, t- put the rag around there. Take these fingers in between your cheeks. Scrub, okay? Don't be afraid to get between your butt cheeks because you washing the outside of your ass is cool. But when you sit down and somebody can take a whiff mm-hmm. of them, the, uh, that uh, those Hershey streaks you got in your underwear because you ain't gotten between the <laughs> crack of your ass. Because yep. I that, listen, you ever been in your car and you driving with somebody and they get out and you get and that as butt as smell as right, soon as they get out, yes. <laughs> that or if somebody me off. or if somebody <laughs> sitting next to you and as soon as they sit yes, down you, and then it's like the sink goes yes, up. So it's oh called, my god. It's called butt funery. <laughs> That's what that smell is called. Butt funery. <laughs> and I don't you like this. Ooh, it's, and you cold. Be, oh, it's, it's cold in here. Cut the heat of seats on. Hell no. <laughs> no. Or you be in mid conversation. Hell no. Oh, yeah. Now that's the worst. <laughs> Listen, you be in mid conversation. Yeah, so because you know I'm about to go get them uh, them chicken wings from. Ooh, what the? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no, you can't get back in this car. No, you got my car smelling like butt cheeks. I'm cool. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. So, this joint podcast. This joint. So, we hitting, we hitting video number four. Yeah, make sure this y'all joint. like, 
comment. And if you already didn't, subscribe. Yes, and as you comment, make sure you hit that like button. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Damn it. T, yeah. hit that Spanish. No, because you know what? CJ said that I ain't know it. So l let's CJ take it. <sighs> Cuatro. Okay. Cuatro. Yeah. See, you hear that? Grato. No, not grato. <laughs> I didn't say guato. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Not no. cockro. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> cockro is crazy. Cockthroat. <laughs> Cockthroat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you nasty ass over here! <laughs> All right, hey. <laughs> Ain't nobody complaining. Oh, video number yeah. four. Video, yeah, 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 like my man said. Video number four. <laughs> now, this content creator says single moms love to glorify a man stepping up to the plate. They be wanted the best, but not offering the best. Okay. Single mothers ain't number y'all ain't number half a G's. Damn. But y'all, what are y'all single fathers? Angels. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> yeah. We just G's. Whatever. <laughs> 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 it's this your podcast. Aww. Let's go. Single moms love to glorify a man stepping up to the plate, and that's what makes them a real man. But whole time, they wouldn't even want that for their own sons. And I mean, obviously, there is no shocker there. Because whether we want to admit it out loud, everyone knows consciously that you have a better deal when you start your own family than go to someone else's. It is literally the epitome of common sense. But the reason why a lot of single moms will try to push that narrative is simply because they just don't want to accept responsibility for what got them in that predicament. And they kind of just don't want to accept the fact that they made some decisions that they can't come back from, whether they intended on them to work or not work, and now their value in the market is simply just different, okay? No one's going to the store and buying almost expired milk versus the milk that expires a month from now from the same price. Like it's literally basic economics, but we all like to pretend as if it isn't because we like to sugarcoat things in society. And I get it, you know, feelings, feelings matter and all of that. But as a grown up, it's your job to live in reality. <laughs> Yo, T over there talking about do the helicopter. <laughs> 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 I did not. <laughs> oh man, you know what? Um, did y'all hear what she said? Yeah. Nah, what was she saying? <laughs> <laughs> y'all didn't hear a damn thing. I, I listened to uh, like the first part. <laughs> I was um, trying to um, titty, I mean, uh, tell what she... Um, what? I was trying to titty, trying to titty I mean, what? tell, uh, trying to, you know, figure out. But no, what she... I, I, I do agree. Shut up. <laughs> Shut, I'm, I'm going to do you like you do. Shut your dumb ass up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, you want to start this all done? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm I, free, I'm I gotta freestyle. try to hurry up and try to remember what the fuck she was talking about. I'm gonna freestyle this one, but I, <laughs> I do agree with part of what she said. <laughs> what like, part? <laughs> first part. <laughs> what she was saying, like, I do understand that, like, you know, when she say women want men to step up, but you don't want that for your son. Your son, yeah. So I do understand that, like. I don't think that all women feel like that, but in that instance, yeah, you can't, you can well, you know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So mm -hmm. it's like, you can't be wanting a man to step up because, you know, I don't want to, the way she made it seem is like, all, not all, but like single moms, they, they were, they understood the issue with the fathers and that's the reason why they're in the predicament, which is not true. So mm -hmm. I, that's the only part I, I didn't agree with. Like you, she made it seem like all single mothers were the reason why they were single mothers and so and that's the part i didn't really agree with but i do yeah. understand what she was saying like you want to you you can't be mad if a man don't want to step up and take care of your kids because in that same instance would you want your son to do that for some, to, to some be woman in that same particular so i get i get that yeah but yeah. you got now these days like okay <clears throat> think about the ratio you meet 10 women how many know how many of those women don't have kids especially in our age bracket. right except so i mean I, I get what she's saying, but also at the same time, it's like I I don't look at it as a man stepping up. I look at it look at it as him making that decision, that conscious decision that this is the life that he wants. Yeah, and it doesn't it has okay. So let's just say he made that decision based solely first on the woman. It has nothing to do with the kids. The kids came after the decision. So you know, I mean, you know, everybody's perspectives are different. I mean, I, I want to say that. I me myself, I had I don't have a problem with dating. Uh, a woman with kids, Either. because now I'm no. 
shit, everyone when I meet got goddamn kids. You know what I mean? Right. It, Are now, you my daddy? It, oh, we ain't doing that right there. <laughs> I'm your mama's daddy. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm, I listen. I I hit the baby boy man. Fuck your fort. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know what? The problem that I have is women with undisciplined kids. Yeah, okay. see, that's me. I agree. If you like, got if you have undisciplined kids, man, it's a turn. Especially what? Especially when you, away from me, and especially when you raise your kids a certain way. Yeah, so, and you put the work in to get them. You know, because kids yeah. are kids, so you put that work in to get them to be polite and all of that stuff. And then you come across this this woman that she's a good woman, but her kids is just so out of control. Undisciplined. Uh, yeah, nah, it's like nah. oh my god. And the one thing you you don't want to it makes it makes it makes <clears throat> combining those those two different lifestyles very. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because you yeah. don't you don't want to mix your children yep. mm-hmm. with their children yep. because you like yo your kids are gonna rub off on my kids right. and now it's or, gonna be a whole other issue I my, have with my child or my kids yep. are wondering like well damn I gotta go to bed at eight thirty. But, but Turquavion yeah, yeah. over here, he well, back God. and looking through the Turquavion house. Turquavion done entered the building. <laughs> he, he, I mean, it's 1025. He downstairs. He's still up. They not like us. They not yeah, like they us. <laughs> like, <laughs> who that? Why we got to go to bed? He downstairs crip walking. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> Bro, I completely agree. Because, see, that's, that's one thing I don't like. Now, the women that I have dated, yeah, I let disharmony them know. In, disharmony in the household. Yeah. But now, but, but on the flip side. A man who's a man who has a dominant personality and a dominant disposition who can rule a household. Like, yo, listen, first of all, if I tell my children to go to bed at eight o'clock, your kids going to go to bed at eight o'clock. Yeah. And li- if you got an issue with that, then you know what? We ain't together. I've had that Period. before. I've had a situation where and I wasn't even like telling this woman what to do. I was just giving her a suggestion. Hey, listen, your daughter is of age now. Why don't you start um, making her, you know. Like be responsible. Like she's yeah. a, she's a teenager. Why don't you start uh, clean up after her? Yeah. Son. Why don't you make her do the dishes? Her exact words to me was, "I ain't making my daughter do no dishes for no grown ass man." I said, "She not making them. They she's not doing my dishes. She's doing the dishes for the house." Yeah. And from that moment on, I knew it was like, okay, I can never discipline this woman. Yeah. I mean, this kid. Yeah. So it's like, and then she would be. It would it would kind of be like a little con- conflict because she'd be like, well. You, don't, you ain't really trying to help her with nothing. Well, I can't reward her if I can't discipline her. Right. It exactly. don't work like that. Exactly. So it, it, it was like from that moment on, it was like, I know this ain't going to work. It, yeah. it just ain't going to happen because you parent different from me, exactly. which is fine. But we just we going. Yeah, but that's just two. That's two, that's two extremes. We got a comment. It is. So we got a comment from Liz. Hey, Liz. She said, my sons are polite, 12 and three. And I'm getting, I get with them and get, when they get out of line, bedtime is at nine and seven 30. Okay. Liz. She is that's not about playing Liz. no games. I know that's, that's right. I'm talking about Liz. Yep. You know what I mean? Like I said, it, there's nothing. I mean, we see all this red pill content where they're talking about, oh, man should never date a, a single mom. That's no, stupid. no, no. If you stop compromising your standards. Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Stop with compromising your standards. If you know that you put your child to bed at 730 and you can't put her child to bed at 730, you know what? Get the fuck out of there. Right. And, Excuse my language. Get out of there. And the because people, at the end of the day, it has to be it has to be some type of consensus. Consistency. Where, yeah. Consistency with all the kids, not just my kids and your kids. No, we are one one big family now. One blended. So, yeah, it was exactly. a one blended. So family. when when my child or children do one thing. All of them should do the same thing because at the end of the day, you want to start to parent them the same. And, yep. and fellas, be honest. If your broke ass can't take care of her <laughs> and her kids, then let her go. Don't try to keep her. But then when it's time to do stuff with the kids, you got excuses. Oh, well, I can't. I got. No, your broke ass can't afford it. It's okay. You could just say, hey, listen, where I'm at in my life, I don't have the ability to take on you and your children mm-hmm. and move on. But a lot of y'all try to play the game where you want the woman and you don't want the kids. It don't work like that. Yeah, Step I, up, I, I, be a yeah. man. And keep it moving until you find mm-hmm. somebody that should speed. It's yeah, that, I had that, that conversation some years back, and I remember telling the guy, I'm like, look, me is like, if you want us to be in a relationship, yes, we are a package. I literally told him that verbiage. We are yeah. a package. Like, so you got to understand that, okay, he wanted, he wanted me to just, like, just stop what I was doing. I can't, I can't be that type of woman for you so yeah. if that's what you yeah. want as if you were single right yeah i can't yeah. do that so i have kids that gotta come home do homework i gotta feed them dinner i gotta get them ready and 
all four of my kids was in activities. So we didn't come home on a daily on weekdays yeah. until nine o'clock. So pretty much my time to do anything or even attempt to go out on a date was weekends. And then that was too much of a problem. So, you know, I'm not the woman for you. It's that simple. You know what? The, the, the hell with him. Right. It's that simple. Donald Dump. <laughs> 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 so look, let, let's go to the first comment. First comment is from Jonathan Acu. Jonathan says, "Stepdads <laughs> are men. Single mothers will not date if they didn't have kids." <laughs> oh shit! Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh shit! <laughs> Stepdad. Step Jonathan snapped with this comment. <laughs> Stepdads are men. Single mothers will not date <laughs> if they didn't have kids. Jonathan, who hurt you, my man? <laughs> Damn. Damn. So, Damn. Did, did one of them young boys go in your, in your, in your book bag and steal $300 or something? Damn. Yeah, I mean, he took his, went and took his, went in his wallet, took his motherfucking <laughs> lunch money and everything. Jonathan, I mean, he like, man, upset. fuck your kids. <laughs> fuck them kids. <laughs> fuck them kids. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, listen, Jonathan, to like I said, at my age, even, even when I was younger, I never had an issue with dating a woman who had children. Again, as I said earlier, it's them undisciplined kids mm -hmm. I got an issue with. Yep. Because those undisciplined kids will keep your ass single. Mm -hmm. Yep. And sometimes a lot of those women have to look at themselves like, why is my child like that? Because at the end of the day, the child is a reflection of you. It, it, wait a minute. Let, well, no, no, let me add. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> you know... A single uh, 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 a child that has a father in their life because he has a good father or that child is disciplined like oh how you doing sir I'm like oh what oh, what's up good what's good young man and it's sad to say how that you doing you know what I'm saying the, what? the women that I've dated the ones who did have dads in their lives even if they wasn't like full time full time you could tell the difference oh yeah they, you can they 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 you can they, they were different the ones that had no dad. It was, they would be wild. Wilding. <laughs> Rambunction, just wilding. You know what I mean? I don't agree. You don't agree? My kids ain't wild. You not the majority. We say that every episode. You're you not the majority. It's like a goddamn black woman. You're so hard headed. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. We're going like to get these comments. <laughs> I'm not watching this damn show no more. Because if they say another thing about black women being something, I'm calling you to F the community and the effing dialogue. That's all right, us. women. I got us. I hold us down. Thank you. Well, we going to get cooked in the oh comment, my God. We love y'all. We love fried women. like this. <laughs> I better not see them two dumb asses on the street. Well, oh, that's they ass. I'm yeah, tired of them. Yeah, because we in Philly, the 215. So make sure y'all look for their faces. Uh, yeah, that's right. I know they got to go out and vote tonight. I'm be standing in them lines waiting. You don't want to talk about black women? <laughs> Yeah, we little talking about we play too much. <laughs> we love you, Liz. You know how we do. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, so, um, we gonna do one more comment. Comment number two. Uh, oh, we gonna let's do two more. Let's do two more. So, comment number two from CeeLo Bernard. Stepdads are literally investing time and money on kids that aren't even theirs. Yep. That's a. That's a. I don't want to say scary, but that's a. That's a thing you got to think about. When well, you, yeah. I mean, but you that's something there. that you. You, you make that commitment to. Like, yeah. You make that commitment to be part of their lives. They are considered your, your kids. No, you did not contribute to them being born, but they are still your child. But there's always the, the there's always the, the um, possibility that that kid doesn't have to take to you. So, and vice versa, not even just with dads, with moms too. But yeah, but just in this scenario, like as a as a as a guy, I can pour into this child as much as I want to. Mm -hmm. They don't have to receive it. And and the the thing about it is I have to do it. Because if I'm with their mother, I cannot do it. So I, I have to pour into them because I'm with their mother. But they don't have to receive it. So a lot of men feel like, you know, that's an issue with me, uh, messing with a woman that has children. It's like, I don't have a problem with stepping up. But... What if this kid does not want to be receptive of it? Yeah, then what? Yeah. And, and I know y'all, y'all know, y'all know what I'm about to say. That's not always just a man thing. That's a woman thing too. Women go through mm -hmm. that too when they're dealing with men that have children. Yeah. yeah. And then you know, let's just say you know the the parents, the the father and the mother, they split the responsibilities of the kids. And next thing you know, you got one of them, you know, disgruntled mothers. And oh yeah, make sure that. 
look, you know, you try to be the best woman you possibly can to this man's children or child, but you really can't because the kids are hearing so much at home and then they're bringing it that energy to to you. So it's like it makes it very, very hard. But, you know, but now hard. now let me add to that. <clears throat> I would tell my children, hey, listen, this is my I don't care what goes on in your household, but this is my house. And if this is the woman that I'm with, she yeah, should be the lady of this. That house? is the extension of me. You That's know what I'm saying? So right if now. she if she tell you what to do, think of it. As it's me telling me. you, yeah, and me telling you what to do, right? Because now, if I gotta go and reinforce her, and I gotta back it up, oh, it's gonna be an issue. That's your ass. It's what? <laughs> and I come with a brown belt. Damn, I <laughs> notches oh, on that. I got notches on that. <laughs> Hey YouTube, we do not condone uh, <laughs> child I abuse. Up. My 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 dad had had a red belt. Damn. Hey YouTube, we do not condone child abuse. Okay, um, here at the show podcast, uh, I know that those um, those uh, ways of corporal punishment. We we do gentle parenting over here now. Thank you. Thank you. Um, get yeah, he's corner. our spokesperson. spokesperson too. Like, can't y'all tell? <laughs> All right, so look, let's go to the last comment. So last comment is from No Fork, No Spoon. No Fork, No Spoon says 90% of the households with step parents are abusive. What? They cannot accept that they messed up. And the price is a human. You know what? Who hurt you? This yeah. Is price, that whole comment because they don't even know what the hell they talking about. But you know what? I, T, T, can you look that up? That is not a Yeah, I mean, I ain't statistic. never heard no I have never, like that. I, I have never heard nothing like that. Like no. 90% of the step parent. That means that every step parent is abusive. Right, Damn, yeah, 90% of the step parents are abusive? You got to chill. No fork, no spoon. You must ain't have no house. <laughs> like, I don't know where you grew up at. I mean, can true. you imagine a man coming in and just start whooping everybody? Yeah. Hey, Turquavion, <laughs> get your ass over here. Like, <laughs> just beat him for for what? <laughs> he do nothing. <laughs> he been outside just all day. Fighting. No apparent reason. Just taking my belt off. Everybody getting his ass whooping. <laughs> Joe Jackson on him? Damn. <laughs> like, come on. Even a dog like, what the fuck? <laughs> anything T we got anything nothing oh, not really let me, let me see um there is no statistic on that yeah, it, that does not it exist don't sound no right. way it don't no sound way right. that would be everywhere that would be alarming if that was the case that so this is what it says it says violence against children in general is a pervasive crime worldwide. Worldwide, however only a small fraction of cases come to the attention of child protection services um, approximately 1% of children in the population are reported annually. Uh, these studies show that children living with step families particularly, particularly are vulnerable to violence for a variety of reasons. It says some step parents may not feel as they are connected to the child or the partner as their own. Um, so that, that that just gives them car blinds without whooping ass. It says these, these factors can contribute to dysfunctional step families. Increasing the risk of cruelty. Yeah, but it didn't what? say nothing about it. Didn't say nothing about um, a percentage. So no, it just it said doesn't. it said one percent. You know, most cases are probably not even. It just says that it creates a more stressful living environment, and then it says and can also increase child uh, maltreatment. But it doesn't say anything about abuse. Yeah, I, I ain't right. It says that. you know it has a, a weak emotional bond, low self worth, self control. Um, yeah, but nothing, nothing about abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it sounds like, sound like some BS. Yeah. So we ain't feeling it. No, we sorry. ain't feeling your comment there. Uh, no fork, no spoon. Yeah, you know I mean, we should call you sport. Like <laughs> 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 oh man! So, next video. Next video. Video number five. Video number five. Cinco. We ain't even gonna give you the chance. Come on. No, we're gonna hit it. No. Hit it. Hit Mr. It. CJ hit said it, it already. Hit it. Mm. Hit it. Yeah, hit it. Hit it. Come on, T. Cinco. <laughs> oh, man. So, content creator at Gender Wars posted a video asking, why are men afraid to open up to their woman? Because y'all have a G. This is going to be a doozy right here. Because y'all have a G. <laughs> you look at me like that. You see it. <laughs> oh, oh. Here we go again. <laughs> Uh, let's go <laughs> why are men afraid to open up to their women uh, because men have been men are afraid to open up to their women because they have been trained 
that it's not safe to do so. Trained. Women, yes, they have been groomed and trained by their past experiences and relationships with women that it's not safe to be vulnerable because a woman will throw it back in their face. I just did that video about how Shaquille O'Neal and Country Wayne were talking about how you can't ever be down to your woman and the responses in the comments. And I was like, no, a man should be able to open up. There were so many men that were like, although this is a great thought, this is not how it is. And it's funny because K. Michelle literally just did a post saying that how she feels like she's the man in a relationship if her man ever cries in front of her. I thought that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, how dare you? That's why men don't feel safe to be vulnerable. Uh, I gotta agree. I agree. You agree? I agree. Um, I, I know plenty males um that have confided in me and basically what happens is is when they deal with certain women that are not mm -hmm. as we say healed they um they make the men feel like they're weak for having emotions are you trying to say that they, they, they weaponize that right so basically they say oh but yeah you're supposed to be you know the masculine you know the yeah. masculine or whatever so basically you're supposed to be strong but they're still human still human so, yes, I get it. At the end of the day, you yeah. the man, you know, you supposed to show show some kind of strength, but also at the end of the day, he still he still has emotions and feelings too. So, yeah, we hurt. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's a mess. You know what I'm saying? We 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 cry. You know what I mean? Listen. Go man. ahead and cry, Los. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Listen. You need a hug. At the end of the day, <laughs> a reason why we don't cry or show any emotion because then when you mad at us, yeah, because your bitch ass yeah. was oh, crying yeah, when you was watching a land before time. <laughs> it's like, bro, like, what the hell? So, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, like, damn. Like, I thought I could be, I could have this moment with you. And what it does is it, it, it builds up that wall. And unfortunately, a lot of us experience that young. So now when we get older, the women are like, oh, you don't do this and you don't do that. It's like, well, I've already been traumatized. So I ain't letting you. I, what they say fool me once shame mm -hmm. on you fool me twice shame on me right so it's like no nah, i ain't going there again so uh, yeah you might be a different woman but yep. my experience when, when i've been emotional I've been, open, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been yeah i've been i've been taking advantage of so now nah, i ain't gonna do that yeah i mean listen let me tell you something let me tell you if a woman ever want to get me you want to get loose put on that goddamn what, 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 what what's that movie with with, with bruce willis and and ben affleck they had to save the world from the meteor. Oh, I forget the name of it. <clears throat> uh, I can't think of the name of it. Yeah, Armageddon. Know. Armageddon, yeah. You put on that Armageddon, boy, I'm bawling like a baby. I don't want to close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fall asleep because I, I miss, miss you, you babe. Babe. What? I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> what? Let me boy. I'm for oh. <laughs> oh, goodness I'm gracious. Tall. I'm tore up. <laughs> man, you put on that player's club for me. Man. Players. <laughs> Blue. I seen what happened to Ebony at that bachelor party. Oh, <laughs> man. my gosh. I tear up just thinking he about it, man. player's club. <laughs> swear, man. They had to do that like that, man. I swear. He going to cry in the car. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Look, let's go to the first comment. So, first comment is from Fernando C. So, Fernando says... Men aren't men aren't afraid. There's no point, no benefit. Most learn from experience. Yeah, I mean, that, yes, I have. Honestly, for the men out there watching, how many times have you been allowed to be emotional? Like, yeah. how many women have ever said, "Hey, it's all right if you cry, or it's all right if you if you sad, or if it's all right if you having a bad day, or whatever." It's probably rare. Some of us. Our mamas ain't even let us do that. Yeah, and I was oh, just about yeah. to say that because <laughs> yeah. you got to think about it because I know like raising my sons, I had to actually had to take a step back and think about it because let's just say like, well, my oldest son, if he would cry, I'd be like, stop that crying. You a boy. Like, uh. be strong. So that's, a, that's, that's something that they are taught from very young ages, like that they're not allowed to cry. They're not allowed to have that emotion. The minute they start crying, fix your face. Yep, you know, yep. so yeah, I'm gonna cry about right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But let the girls cry. Oh, sweetie, come here. Let me give me give me give mommy hug. You know, so you know it's it's such a a, a a wide difference in how we teach emotion with the kids. But that's why now you 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 got these twenty, thirty, forty, fifty year old men walking around they sociopaths because <laughs> yeah, there it is. They they I, I've been holding this emotion in so long that now I don't even need it. So now. You like uh, women will say stuff like, 
how could you treat her like that? What would make me not want to treat her like that? I don't have no emotion. I don't. I don't feel hurt. So I don't. Her being hurt with that that don't make me feel no type of way. Yeah, because exactly. I've been dealing with this since I was seven years old. Exactly, so it's unfortunate. So the next comment from Tommy Buns. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> My man, my man, TB, <laughs> Tommy Buns. <laughs> K. Michelle just told you the truth. You're better off not being vulnerable to her. No, she's just, she's just, she, she's just hurt. She oh, has, she yeah, has yeah, very yeah, yeah. deep rooted trauma minute. that she needs to work through because, again, she'll never get close to anybody because at some point you have didn't, to have some kind of emotional bond. Didn't uh, Idris Alba? Hurt her? Wasn't he messing with her? I don't know. I, I, I think know. so. I think so. She messed with a whole bunch. Hey, of it, when you 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 know about the gossip? Would the interest mess with no. Kate Michelle? I don't know about that. God damn it! Just like a black woman, don't know nothing. Look, oh, damn. What? Oh, t- so just like promise. black men, because oh, at Lord. the end of the day, you the one that want to know. Oh, so why don't you know? Oh damn! <laughs> Forget the comments. <laughs> you did it live and direct. <laughs> them comments gonna be crazy after that one. Oh man. Sorry. Ooh, boy, we, <laughs> we love our black uh, queens. This show about to get fried in yes. the comment. But, all right, look, look, let's go to one more comment. One more comment is from uh, Bronny Donnie. Literally opened up after she begged me to tell her what was wrong. She started a huge fight as soon as I did. She threw it in my face. Every argument after. Never again. Don't do it, guys. They lie. Yeah, so that, that again, the I mean, prime not example. all women are like that, though. No, they not. Nah, but nah. there's a good there's a good amount of them, because again, they haven't they haven't been uh, emotionally cared for, so they they coming in again. Most women that they weren't nurtured, they, you know. What is it? Mama's boys. So the boys are the ones that get more of the softer treatments. Uh, some mm-hmm. uh, sometimes mm-hmm. from from the uh, from the mother, especially if we talking about eighty percent of households being single mothers. So it's like. A lot of them women, they didn't get that. So they don't even know how to do it because they never received it. So exactly. it's just a bad cycle, unfortunately, on both sides. Exactly. You say something to you? I said, yeah, that's right. That's what I'm saying. T, stop hurting the men. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. Hey, listen, we want to give a big shout out to our new sponsor. Um, you want to you wanna drop our new sponsor's name, man? Um, I actually don't. Uh, I, I think you do a way better job at oh, letting our new sponsors know oh, yeah. how we feel. Oh, yeah. Big, big shout out to our new sponsor, Bob Bitches. 